This is a tutorial to learn how to use ThingLink. So you'll go to ThingLink.com, you'll create your free account. Make sure we're just using your free accounts to start. That's a little bit limited, but I'll show you how to um, create using this account. Uh, when you're into your account, you're going to click the word create, and that will get you started. Now, we're doing book bentos. You have to be able to upload the image. So I have taken a screenshot, and my image is on the desktop of my computer. So you need to be able to get your um, uh, image to a place where you're able to upload it. Uh, you can do it from your downloads um, or uh, open it up from files that are on your computer. So once I upload that image, it's going to put me into this um, creation place here. So I want to name my um, image first, and I'm going to call this hashtag book Bento, all one word, and I'm going to put my name. Yeah, by Lisa, and you can put your last name. That's fine. Okay, so once you're there and you've, we've got our title, uh, we're going to start to put our content. Now, you'll notice down in the bottom left corner, there is a tutorial that goes into a lot more detail, um, but this is pretty quick here. So all you have to do to start is click to add a tag. So if, let's say I want to talk about um, the gloves in this image. So I'm going to click and add my first tag here. Once I've added the tag, which is this little button, a bunch of um, tools will show up on the side. I'm going to go straight to the text because what we're looking for is that you add text explaining why you've included gloves in your book bento. So I'm going to just start and give it uh, just a sentence starters, um, represent, um, and you'll notice as I type uh, the words start showing up above here. I can play around with the, um, the layout of it. Um, I can uh, upload an image or um, any audio into this um, space as well. I can even link things. Now within this space, I can also create a link. So let's say I'm going to uh, I select the link button. I can highlight one of the words and I can get something uh, and link it up and then so it will be linked there. I'll show you on another example. All right, so I'm going to click Save, and that one is done. So when I hover over this or click on it, it will show. I'm ready to add another one, and I think I'm going to put it right on the book this time. When I put it on the book, uh, let's say I want this one to be, uh, the text will be uh, the review. Okay, and so there it's going to start popping up, and I will go ahead and write my entire review. But I also might want to show some other, I'm going to show you how to use that link. So if I highlight the word review and click link, now I can go, maybe I'm going to go and add in, I went to Goodreads and I copied, uh, there are some reviews there. Uh, and I can put that uh, link right in and say done. So when I do click on here, you can see that review would take me straight to the Goodreads page. But do remember to add your own text in here as well. Review. Um, this book is blah blah blah, and how you'd like it to say. Um, and so all of that will keep adding in here. But it's kind of a nice feature to be able to add that um, link in so you can see other reviews as well. Be sure to click save after each one. So you're going to keep adding these um, to describe the elements that you have put on your book bento. Uh, ignore these um, on the side here. Uh, that is for an upgrade feature. You have to stay. Make sure your image is large enough. You can change the size of it. Um, and you want it to be large enough so you can see all the pieces. Uh, and when you're all done, um, you can click Save Image. All right, so here it is. This is the actual image. When I hover over, you can see that these things are linking. Oh, the review is not working. So I'll play around with that link. Alright, so I'm done. I'm going to take this link and at the top of this page, and that's the link that I'll be turning in on the class form.